Welcome to Top Rope Reality This Week, episode 90. 90, people. 90. It's it's so much close to 100 here. It's amazing how many weeks that is. 90 weeks. That is insane. Now let's get started with some ringside news. And boy, I'll tell you, NXT has done it again. They have done it again. Not only do we have the emergence of Austin Aries in NXT, but... They gave it away already. It hasn't, it hasn't aired, but they went ahead and gave it away, so we'll give it away. And I said, they know now. They know. Once you tape it, people know. Yes. Might as well say it. Shinzuki. It's pretty good. Yeah. Shinzuki Nakamura. I hope they just cut out the first name. Just call it Nakamura. They probably do. Nakamura. Nakamura will debut at NXT TakeOver Dallas, which will be the two nights before two nights. WrestleMania 32. And he will battle in his debut match, which I think will tear the house down. Oh, yes. Tear the house down will be against Sami Zayn. That is huge news. I think it's huge NXT news. NXT is definitely building up to be a huge... Now, Dallas, TakeOver Dallas is going to be a big, huge for a lot of careers. I mean, people on this show now, I can see, that could be their last night in NXT. Right. And come Monday on Raw, they will be on the main roster, and there's a few on that list. Yeah. You're going to look at Asuka taking on Bailey. Bailey. Yes. Could Bailey be on her way up? Could Asuka become the new Could champion? Could she be the new champion? You have Samoa Joe taking on Finn Bauer. And they're saying Samoa Joe may be going up to the main roster soon. So. You've got Austin Aries. We won't give away what happens with him. But he no. will be on TakeOver Dallas in a matchup. But we will wait until that airs to let you know what's I mean, going on with that. I mean, it's so huge. you got that on... The Friday. Then you're gonna have the Hall of Fame on Saturday, and then WrestleMania on Saturday. I mean, that's a huge, huge weekend for everybody. But I will jump ahead since we're talking about Hall of Fame. Let me jump, jump ahead. Jump on here. to the Hall of Fame. Okay, we got a couple of things here for the yes. Hall of Fame that just goes right along with what we just said. <laughs> if some this of them happens, jokes, and some of them a lot like, oh my lord. If this happens, ladies and gentlemen, Friday may need to swap with Saturday to give you a good vibe to go into <laughs> WrestleMania because. Uh, this guy, who I cannot stand, is talking about going to the Hall of Fame, who's saying it may be coming soon, and that is Brutus the Barber Beefcake, <laughs> where he's had talks. I would imagine that it'd be hard to put him in. I mean, I guess Jimmy Hart would put him in, but so much of 99.99999% of his career, the only part of his career not involving Hogan was when he was with Greg the Hammer Valentine. That's as the a dream, dream team. team yeah. That's it. That's it. Any other time, he was either accompanying him or tagging with him or as the disciple in WCW. I mean, I in WCW, he did like the booty man and the man with no name but all that. But still, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> the man with no face and all this. But he, he, he goes along the lines of Coco, beware for me. Yeah, I don't really, I mean... He's a and he. I think it's more talk than anything else. I, I think he's I just trying to get his name out there. Yes. He is a coattail rider. Yes. And the person he rode the coattail. A pitcher of, sign and stealing driver. <laughs> That's true. And this man, he he rode the coattails of a man that he wants nothing to do with right now. So nope. why would they want anything to do with him? Yep. I mean, I don't see it. I think I think it's just him talking out of the side of his head. Probably so, but also side. with the Hall of Fame, Bru uh, Bruce, not Bruce, the other brother Smith. Smith. So yes. many brothers. Smith Hart claims. That he is confirmed through talking to Brett the Hitman Hart. You know, the doctor, the one that tells you if you're retired. Who or not. hated the Royal Rumble. Who hated the Royal Rumble. And Says said the that, worst that, that Triple H should not be trying to be a heel and a face at the same time with doing Beat a Star and Make a Lish. Well, it's a different time, a different era, yes. and people know that characters are what's on TV, and real life is that kind of stuff. Yes. Um, he's talked to Bret Hart, and they have, they have confirmed that British Bulldog, Owen Hart, and the Hart family as a group would not be inducted into this year's Hall of Fame. A Hart Foundation induction on its own would not fill the stadium, he says, but I'm sure it would help more than the proposed inductions of, and here's some other names that we talked about, The Godfather, Jacqueline, or JBL. I love how the little... Mm -mm -mm. Oh, he's jabbing. It wouldn't fill the stadium. But it would help more than these guys. It would help more than these guys, which I have nothing against these guys, but it would be better than these guys. But uh, this is what I'm saying here. It now, would be better than these guys. No, no JBL. I, I'm okay I'm with JBL. Okay with JBL. I don't know Texas. I got it. But uh, Texas. Why the Hearts? I mean, the Hearts went to... now I would not do like the Von Erichs did. 
Because I didn't agree with the Von Erichs all going in as a fan. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Ninety percent of them didn't really do much in the rest right. of the game. Right. Just Kerry like, Von like, Erich in my I opinion. I don't like when they do the whole thing. You know, okay. You, you know, know, they tried to. Macho Man wanted to do that with his family, and they just they flat out said no, and they don't need to do that with the Hearts. I believe that if you're gonna do it, the Hart family, as in with Smith and Bruce and all them, they don't need to go in. No, they haven't done enough. Uh, the only thing I remember them doing in WWE. Was literally that Heart Foundation match in the uh, in the um, Survivor Series. Series. That's yes. it. They don't deserve to go in. No. But I will say this: I know that the Hart family has done a lot for the wrestling business, but it was Stu Hart. And Stu Hart went in, so the Hart family as a whole does not need to go in. No. Now, if they did a Hart Foundation to go in, you would get British Bulldog. You would get Owen Hart. You would get Jimmy Anvil Nine Hart. Hart. Brett would actually get a second induction, mm -hmm. and you would get Flying Brian Pillman. Right. Now, if they do it that way as a Heart Foundation, I'd be okay with it. And Owen, Owen going by himself. I mean, even the British I, Bulldog. See, I mean, Davey and, and Dynamite Kid can go in by themselves. It's the tag team. Well, yeah, but, but there's I, so much heat with I know, but with Bulldog still. and Dynamite Kid. I don't think that'll ever happen. But, but I could see Bulldog going in by himself. I could see Owen going in by himself. I could even see Pillman going in by himself. Yes. The only one I don't see going in by himself is Jimmy Emma Hart. No. I know Natalia's there and everything, but I, I just don't see them saying, well, that's uh, that's a good choice. Not by himself, no. You know, I, I mean, he's a he's a, he's a a level above Coco Beware, in my opinion, but still. Yes, but, um, he, he's, but I would be okay tag with... Tag team wrestler. Right, I mean, just, I mean, yeah. But I would be okay with the Hart Foundation as the last group, the heel group, you know, with Brian Pillman in it. I'd be okay with them going in as a group. And see... I'd be okay with that. Not as the family, not the heart family. Now, if this turns out wrong and Owen or the Bulldog or nobody, you know, or one of them, or oh, the whole family goes in together, and then Smith, like an idiot, mm -hmm. come out, talk to Brad, and what's not going to happen? Dude, you've seen the same list we've seen, okay? Right. And on top of that, Because they put Sting like, already in there. He's missing the fabulous free birds. The rest of the people on the list he's got, which I do not like all of them on the group. I don't. The Godfather, I don't I don't understand. He's on the level of Coco Beware. Yes. yes, he was in there for many, many, many years with many different incarnations. And Jacqueline has been there, but she didn't really do that a lot. She yeah. was there for the Attitude Area. There's yes, more. If you want, if you've got to go a woman, of course you go to a woman. There's more women than her that need to go in. For. Luna so. needs to go in. My gosh, they put Trish and Lita in, and they did, skipped plus, over Luna. Plus, don't they usually go a manager? The manager? What about the manager? Yeah, they've yeah. quit doing that. It needs to... Okay, they're going to do Celebrity, which he didn't include in the Celebrity of Regis Philman, which no, is I guess horrible. It's okay with that. That's horrible. But... Okay, if you're going to do a celebrity, you need to have a celebrity, a manager, a woman, a tag, a, a team. tag team, a deceased person, mm -hmm. and a main event person. That's, That's six. It. That's six, right? Yes. You can do two hours with six people. But especially if you, the, like the Bushwhackers, to talk for half an hour, and yes. Mr. T, yeah. my gosh. Yeah. But, I, I mean, I don't agree with him talking ahead of himself. He needs no. to wait till the list, official list comes out, and then he can complain. He's saying, I mean, uh, you may be right. Blame the heart. My Brett might have asked Vince, is Owen going in? He says, not going. Y'all not going in. Right. Well, you may not. I mean, maybe not. Maybe but he critical. doesn't need to sit there and, well, the heart family, they need to, uh, they need to, uh, what do you say, um, what is the word for it? Um, protest yeah. the Hall of Fame event. Oh, the I didn't protest the year before, the year before, the year before, the year before, the year before. <laughs> Why all of a sudden is Dallas a big deal? Oh, because no. all those years before, th okay, they've had Brett go in, they've had Stu go in two I different think, times. I think what it is is there was a lot of uh, talk because the talk DVD. of Owen going in because of the DVD. Yes, and then if they if it turns out it's not happening, but at the same time they don't sit there and say you're going to protest when you didn't protest all those other years before. It just doesn't, to me, doesn't make any sense. Bruce Smith and Bruce and the rest of them, it's just a sign of graves. Exactly. They're living off the heart, man. I mean, they have, I mean, they might have done great things in Canada, but that's about it. That's that is about it. it. But we're going to jump off of the Hall of Fame and go to yeah. more injuries. Boy, the injury bug has struck again Woo. on several, several people. Man. A lot of people. Nikki had to have neck surgery, which could be career ending, depending on where everything was at, yeah. what they had to remove. I haven't heard anything else on that. No, so. they haven't had any updates, but it's it's not really rehab. It's more involved of just keep your neck still, and it's just going to take a while, and then they'll figure out if she can even move and do uh, wrestling after that. But she will not, she said, be doing the rack attack move when she if she comes back. She said that the rack attack was the main thing that they said uh, contributed to her wow. neck injuries. Well, because, I mean, you're jarring your spine. Yeah. You're not even doing anything really to your opponent. You're jarring your own spine. Uh -huh. 
So I'm uh, surprised. That, no, well, I mean, Lex Luger went paralyzed and he jumped people yeah. up and down on the spine. So maybe that had something to do with it. Uh, that's Interesting. Have or something else to do. I mean, there's other moves out there. There's you a lot do. of other moves. Sheamus. Then Sheamus showed up with a cast on his arm and they're like, okay. But depending on how bad that is, he can wrestle with a cast. He can wrestle with a cast. You can he can it, use it as a weapon. He uses a weapon and wins some matches. Put it with, with the storyline. But they're not smart enough to do that. They're not. Reason. Alberto Del uh, Rio has a lower back injury. The, the, the League of Nations is falling apart. Yeah, because Wade Barrett's... Roos is the only one not hurt. Watch he's, out, Roos. Yeah, he's been hurt before. Now he's taking uh, Sheamus' spot in the uh, main events against Roman Reigns, on which, I mean, hey, that's a good spot to have. It was a good match they showed on. They showed that match on It was a good match. I mean, that's... But see, I mean, that's good for him. I mean, like on the live events, you got Rose, Rusev and Roman Reigns right different. now. So, I like to say something different. But with Alberto Del Rio, they're saying that it, he, it may not be that bad. He may be able to work through it. Yeah. Maybe with the back, it's maybe it's sciatic spasms, nerve. I mean, you never know. know. Um, a little bit of pinched nerve. Pinched nerve. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, there's no telling what's going on with him. But he's, they said he took it. He got injured by Brock Lesnar uh, suplexing him. So, oh, we're going to have to, you know, uh, before, you know, they were saying we got to get rid of these moves and uh -huh. this guy got to quit doing this. Cause, okay, Brock can no longer suplex. Well, you might as well release him from his contract. Yes. Because everyone was crying like, oh, no, AJ can't do the he can't And then do on the SmackDown, he did the move. Yes. It's called they were teasing. Now, I don't agree with them doing it on SmackDown. Nobody watches SmackDown. That shouldn't have been the first spot they ever did it in. That's the only one he could do it to. Apparently. <laughs> Maybe Curtis was the only one who would take it. It may have been. Yeah, so. It's an easy move. You're just, you're yeah, landing here. he's got here. to get more. He's not these little beefy dudes that WWE even know. I mean, there are some bigger guys, but he needs to work the smaller guys anyway. He was having, did you see it? With who? Curtis? Curtis. He, 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 was was having, he was having a little trouble. <laughs> he was having a little trouble with Curtis there. But, but I mean, no, it, it, works. it probably won't be at every time thing. No, I mean, he's got other moves. He's got the Pele kick. He's got all kinds of other moves in his arsenal. And he may say, hey, come up with something completely different that you've, that you've not done in TNA and Ring of Honor and do something different. I mean, he's getting up there in age, so he, he may tone it down a little bit and do some different things. Because Gunner's talking about, hey, he's uh, 33. And now they're saying, you know, once you're 35, 36, they say you're too old. So he felt maybe he was too old. But he said AJ's older than he is. Yeah. So he's in his late 30s, and they still picked him up. It's all about that name value. It is. And uh, last but not least, uh, Ty Dillinger. I did not see the video, but apparently there's a video. video. And they said, ouch, when Ooh. I saw when I saw the uh, comments of the video, because it was on Twitter, but the Twitter, the, video, the Twitter but video wouldn't play. Uh, but uh, he hurt good his leg. No, not good say, ouch. a lot of cuss words saying, oh, gosh, that looked oh. like it hurt. Um, there wasn't no, uh, there wasn't nothing said. Uh, close to sin, is it? <laughs> I hope not, but they said, they said, look at his right leg. I was like, oh, oh no, no, no. And he's up in age, too. Oh, well, he's, I, mean, I think NXT is, I think NXT is as high as he's going to go, but he, you know, because he used to be in ECW, the reincarnation and stuff. Yeah. So I think he's probably had his time, but he was really hitting the stride with the 10 thing. The oh, well, 10. Yeah, and, and so hopefully this won't set him back too far. Uh, somebody, I think, said it looked like an ACL. Oh. You know, those things. ACL, MCL, meniscus, all that takes a while. Isn't that what uh, Seth, Roll Seth Rollins, Rollins yeah, yeah, it's yes. like a year, ain't it? Nine months, at least. And they're saying, I've read, I don't think, I don't know if this is on here, I don't think it is, but they're saying. More injuries? That, no, Seth Rollins. I read somewhere the rumor is that he's coming back ahead of schedule. Wow. Which is, is only good for WWE at this point Hell because yeah, they're the dropping like flies. Back. Alice Cesaro will be back for after WrestleMania, though, so that's another one. And, and John Cena's already back in the gym. Jumping ahead on injuries here, a day of a time he's seen complications from his shoulder surgery yes. and is nowhere near close to returning. He's been sidelined since April of last year. That is really bad. Because, because what's, the, I mean, uh, John Cena had shoulder problems, Cesaro had shoulder like problems, six months, like Sami like Zayn had shoulder problems. And these guys are all coming back, but something's going on with the Thomas. Yeah. I wonder what the complication is. I, I wonder know, why he's not being able to to come back. That's very weird. So I hope he's not one of those like Sin Cara that, you know, is like a bomb, but it's not really <laughs> his fault. No. You know, it's an injury. Sin Cara was just because he botched everything. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm hoping for the best for a Tommy. I mean, I hope he doesn't get overshadowed with Nakamura <laughs> and AJ coming in and Austin Aries and stuff. You know, uh, time may pass him by, and that's not good because uh -huh. NXT is ever changing at this point. It is. 
Um, you got people going out, going up the main roster, and new ones coming in. And some, even people from the main some, roster coming down. Some are staying, which is a good thing. Yes, it is a good thing. Like Finn Balor doesn't want to move. I'd on. rather uh, <laughs> if it's either you get fired or you go, or go down. I'm going to NXT. Yeah, like Zack Ryder probably yes. should have been fired a long time ago. They said, "Hey, go down here and help this guy." And apparently, they're getting along well and they're coming along well with that stuff. But uh, now we're going to have some uh, re-signing news for a couple of companies. Yeah. Um, Which is good for it both is companies. good for both companies. TNA Impact Wrestling, there was rumors of this guy coming to WWE. And uh, he, he had said in interviews he wants to end his career in the WWE. And he's still able to. Who hasn't said they want to end their career in WWE? They want an actual big audience to they end do. their career in. Um, but this man is Jeff Hardy, and he's re-signed with him. It may just be a one-year contract. I, know, I haven't really seen it. I'll kind of look around and see exactly, but I haven't you know, seen it. You know, they all, uh, the only time when TNA says they re-sign, re multiple-year contract. Yeah. A lot of times what it is is one year with an option of another year. Yeah. And yeah. so it makes it look like, oh, it's a big deal. It's bad part about it. When they go over and they go to UK, he can't go anywhere with them, so. Yeah. Because apparently, I guess. It's still the injury thing. You get taken out. Every year it gets taken out. Because I think Eric Young took him out this time. Yeah. And I guess that's uh, from his past with all his uh, yes. police encounters, mm -hmm. I guess. Yep. Very interesting. And then Ring of Honor World Champion staying where he's at, ladies and gentlemen. Resigning with Ring of Honor. That is Jay Lethal. Hopefully for the foreseeable future because that man... That, that, that's a good thing. It is a good thing because I think he may like, get overshadowed going to NXT with all these guys like going in right All now. the people, AJ coming in, Nakamura, Harris, Nakamura yep. you know, and the plus you have down there. That's a good thing. Sign another couple of years and then make the jump. Right. Once those names are not fresh anymore, yes. he may be able to jump and then be a fresh name and be a big deal. But right now, he has got Ring of Honor on his back and they are doing nothing but going up. Yeah. They're going higher and if higher. I wasn't, if I wasn't treated right, I could see maybe leaving. But he's treated right. He's, he's, treated right. he's no one guy wonderful. in the company. I mean, I see no stopping Jay Lethal right, right now. And, I mean, why why jump this ship? Exactly. And another one is the tag team of a Red Dragon. No problem with Red Dragons. No, absolutely not. Kyle I mean, is still very young. but all three, of, all three of them? Yeah. Even Jeff Hardy, even Jeff Hardy, as much as he is, I wouldn't mind seeing Jeff back, and I definitely wouldn't mind seeing Jay Lethal or Red Dragon. Right. But with Red Dragon, I've heard that... Bobby Fish is a little bit older uh, than the, you know the usual asking number of WWE, mm -hmm. but it, it depends on if you can still go. Like with AJ, his age is a little yeah. bit up there, but he can still go. Um, but Kyle O'Reilly, I know, is still very young, but uh, I think their style definitely fits Ring of Honor and New Japan, and I think that, that they're definitely uh, where they need to be, kind of like the Young Bucks. I think yeah. the Young Bucks would be toned down so much if they wanted to be, and I think they know that. And so but they, they will. I think one day they will. I mean, if they tone down their style even more, which they've even said in interviews, they have toned down from what they originally started with. <laughs> you have to. You have to. can't take it. Um, by the way, did you see the meme? And I, I mean, this is wonderful. I hope you all go see this meme on Facebook. It had three-layer picture. Uh -huh. it's, it had the Young Bucks in the top picture. Okay. It said, before drugs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it had... The Hardys with a picture of them with Impact Wrestling in the background. Uh -huh. uh, so it's more of a very, very recent. It said during drugs. <laughs> <laughs> and it had a very recent picture of the Rock and Roll Express. It said after drugs. <laughs> Hilarious. That is funny. And then somebody said, I'd love to see that triple threat tag team match. Uh -huh. I'm like, not now. That is funny. Rock and Roll Express getting old. Oh, it is funny, funny. But, but yeah. And because you know Rock, you Ricky know, Martin. Oh boy, I think you're always, your bleach blonde blonde white hair is gonna fall out. You keep bleaching I'm, it. So I'm much. telling you, <laughs> the really? picture was horrible. Yeah, they, really they picked the worst. Kind of like those, you know, the magazines where they pick the worst pictures yes. on the cover. The worst picture of them. Fine. Oh, it's so funny though. Uh, and finally, and we got Lucha Underground. Big news for them. They are doing their uh, their finale uh, in the next couple of days, and they have said that uh, they had a meeting with their talent, and Lucha Underground is coming back for a third season. No details yet on when that starts filming, but that is good news for the boys. Yeah. It's good news for paychecks and everything. Um, the only good thing out of it is if, if Lucha Underground goes under and they can't pay Ricochet, we get Ricochet in WWE. In XT, yes. Because they've already uh, said that you know they're willing to give him a contract. They're just from what I read, he has a ten-year deal with Lucha Underground. Wow. So uh, apparently they got big plans for that. But um, 
But anyway, so that is it for part one. No, it's not. We're no, it is not. The oh. Rumble results. When I saw Royal Rumble, I'm thinking yes. of the uh, pay-per-view review. I'm like, that, that's WrestleMania now, so. It is WrestleMania. WrestleMania. Yeah, we're on the road to <laughs> WrestleMania. The WrestleMania. Exactly. Yes. But Royal Rumble 2016 results. You had your kickoff match. Like I said, Brett hated it. Don't know why, because Triple H is champion. I, I guess that's why. That's it's best for business right now. I mean, a lot of people will bitch him on if Brett. I mean, if, if Hunter's champion, a lot of people will bitch him on if, if Roman was went through it and, and won it. Exactly. Which he didn't. He did but, not. We just got away for it. But anyway, we kicked off the way, kickoff. Tag tag which we match. missed that, which was kind of shocking, which is good. Yes, yeah. we did mess that up because we thought, you know, of course who's going to win. The, the winner of the match gets entry into the Royal Rumble match. The Dudley Boys, who we thought were going to win because yes. they're the name value, taking on the Ascension, who never beats anybody, taking on Jack Swagger and Mark Henry of a just a random tag team put together yeah. and another random tag team put together of Darren Young and Damian Sandow. D &D. Which I don't know if you saw this or not. But, and I don't know why they're doing this, because I thought they were, I guess they're building up to it later on. You know, they're doing the Golden Truth thing coming up. Yes, they're with, doing. Oh, I love it. It's basically the reboot of Goldust and Booker T, yes. which I'm okay with. I'm totally okay. Kind of racist, but I'm not going to. They're both, well, they're both getting older. Yes. And, and they need something. But, uh, and it helps the tag team division. Golden awesome. Truth. I love it. Golden Truth. Yes. I love it. Yeah, tag team. And and don't he's swing doing, that way. And he's doing the stuttering thing again. Yes, he Dude, is. I'm like, yes, the stuttering's back. But, so I'm not saying there ain't nothing wrong with it, but I don't swing that. <laughs> Very funny stuff. It is. But Sandow teamed with R Truth on a recent live event. Oh, Lord. And Sandow did not do his usual, you know, because they said he went back to his old gimmick, his original gimmick of the, you know, yes, 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 narcissistic yes. type person. But yes. he was doing, I don't know if you've seen the Up, Up, Down, Down videos that uh, Xavier Woods yes. does. Well, he's in them. And he's like, uh, Sizzle, I think's his name, <laughs> and he was doing the Sizzle gimmick, which I mean, he raps and everything. So that makes sense that they did put them two together yeah. with Sizzle and our truth. But I think they're going to do our truth and Gold Dust. They but I, I just wonder what they're going to do with the Sand. They also but. need to keep uh, Swagger and Mark Henry together. They too. do. I mean, it does make sense. They're all American guys. Mark Henry was in the Olympics. Swagger was. Please, it's an all-American guy. It's Team USA all the way. Come on, you can't build off that, for goodness sakes. And I wish you'd bring back Zeb Coulter to be with him. But anyway, yeah. but your winners... And if the League of Nations was healthy, there you go. Two of the League of Nations taking on uh, Team USA. Exactly. Come on. Exactly. you got to think about this. But anyway, the winners of this, which shocked us, yes. was Mark Henry and Jack Swagger. We lasted about 45 seconds total for, for both of them. Yes, yeah, so... It was bad. It was pretty bad. So that's why they probably put them in there, because they didn't want the Dudleys to look that bad in the Rumble. To get to take the spot, but they got to the Royal Rumble and it kicked off with a huge bang. It did. The first match out of Great. the gate was the last man standing for the Intercontinental Title. Champion Dean Ambrose taking on challenger Kevin Owens, and they tore the house down. If you talk about regular matches, not the Royal Rumble, but between the four matches that were normal matches on the card, this was the match of the night. Yes, because you had. Uh, the winner and still Intercontinental Champion, Dean Ambrose. We thought they were both going to go through the tables yes. and both get counted down, so neither one would look bad. But Kevin Owens was about to flip off the top rope, do a moonsault, on, do a moonsault onto Dean Ambrose, who was laying on top of chairs that were unfolded. Yeah, setting up chairs. Set, set up chairs. He was laying on them. And I thought for sure this is not going to turn out well. No, it's not. But then he went and just boop. And, and pushed him right off the side, and he went right through the table, and that was it. Like That's it all was sure. playing that way. Isn't that weird? It's amazing. That table just happened to be there. Amazing. Well, it's two tables, actually. Stack the table. Stack them, yes. And use it when you do something like that. You You're the one that goes through it. Bites you in the butt, yes. I think that's rule number 23 of wrestling. Yes. You set up a weapon, you usually go through it. Yes. Up next was for the tag team champions, you got New Day Rocks taking on the Usos again. <laughs> Come on, people. we got tag teams out there. Let's have some more challenges for the New Day. But you're wondering if still tag team gym is the New Day because they rock right now. So. Which I would love to see the night after. The night after. The night after. Monday, on Monday Night Raw, the night after WrestleMania, right. New Day come out and say, we beat them all. Everybody. We beat everybody. And they do the treatment with the AJ and Page thing. And out comes American Alpha. <laughs> And they win the tag team titles on the first night. I could see it. It would get a big pop. I think it would pop. work. So if that happens, I want some royalties. That's right. You heard it. You heard it here first. First. A lot of things we do first, and no one talks about. It. We do a lot of things first. 
Exactly. But up next on third match of the night was the United States Champion, Jeff Champion, okay. Alberto, Alberto Del Rio taking on Kalisto when it should have been the other way around. Kalisto should have been the champion going in, but Kalisto come out the champion, which we thought was going to happen from the word go. But now that makes him a two-time, two-time United States champion. It was champion. a matter of two weeks, two weeks, yes. Yeah, I don't like the whole going back and forth like that within I a matter of a couple like weeks. No. He, I mean, hopefully he gets a long reign this time and they don't just take it away from him again. Yes. Definitely. And then uh, the, finally in the last singles matchup, you had the D WWE Divas Championship with Charlotte with Ric Flair taking on Becky Lynch and retaining her championship was Charlotte, but it was all about after the match was over. Yes. Because out came Sasha Banks. And Sasha Banks uh, came out and started beating up Becky Lynch. She made it look like she was back with her BFF. Yes, again. And then Charlotte goes to walk away. Charlotte turns back around to the the bank statement. statement. Okay. Yes. Um, said it wrong last time, but anyway. So the bank statement. Yes. And uh, so that that was very, very interesting. Yeah. We're um, setting up for a triple threat at that. Another triple threat at uh, fast line. Fast line. So Absolutely. I mean, they could make it a fatal four with it, though. Page in there, but uh, I mean, Page. Now, problem right now, would want to stick Page in there unless they add her in the next couple of weeks. Right. Right now, we have two triple threats. Who's in? The main event. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's not, good. that's not good. That's not good to forget. That's not good. Does especially that make in, it forgettable? Who's in that? No, that's not good. Especially who's in the main event. That's never good. But wait, let's go around the room real quickly how we go. We had Roman Reigns start off, which was what needs to happen since he is the champion. He's supposed to be taking on one versus all. It would make more sense for him to start first instead and of... He did go against all. He did. Well, kind of. Kind They took him out. And number two was Rusev of the League of Nations. Then we had AJ Styles, which was a big shock. That was the big three. shock with his DMX music. Yes. Tyler Breeze was four. Curtis Axel was five. Six was Chris Jericho. Seven was Kane. Eight was Goldust. Nine was Ryback. And ten was Kofi Kingston, who again tried to be saved by the New Day, but was taken out by Chris Jericho. That's true. Number, number 11 is Titus O'Neil. 12 was our truth 13 was Luke Harper. 14 was Stardust. 15 was Big Show. 16 was Neville. 17 was Braun Strowman. 18 was Kevin Owens. 19 was Dean Ambrose. And number 20 was Sami Zayn. Another shock. Another shocker. Sami Zayn came out there to the big pop. And took out Kevin Owens. So they kind of continued their fuse mix. D. Maybe that means he's coming up to the main roster. Could be. Number 21 was Eric Rowland. Number 22 was Mark Henry. Number 23 is Brock Lesnar. Number 24 was Jack Swagger. 25 was The Miz. 26 was Alberto Del Rio. 27 was Bray Wyatt. 28 was Dolph. 29 was Sheamus. And coming in last, draw number 30, the, one of the best numbers, Triple H. Who was the winner. Taking out Dean Ambrose. Yes. He took out Roman Reigns, and then it came down to Dean Ambrose versus Triple H, which got a good pop. They're very interested in it. And I wouldn't have complained a bit if Dean Ambrose would have won that. Me neither. Wouldn't have complained a bit. And but Triple H did win, which I'm still okay with that. I, I mean, I know what the right end now game it's is. best for it's best for yeah. We, we know what the end game. I know is. what the end game is to put over the new face that runs the place. Yes. Um, come WrestleMania at the very end with Roman Reigns standing tall with all the confetti. And all mm -hmm. that kind of good stuff. Well, they won't. They think that that will build him, but I'm still his, not. His family that. was there last time because they were in uh, yeah. Louisiana, so that's pretty close to Florida because that's where they're at. Yes. Will they? Will they uh, fly the family into Dallas? Probably will. For the main event. Make a point to show him off and everything. Because I mean, they, you see it a lot. I mean, because Sika and all they were in the front row, what? and you know, and of course he comes up disappointed. So will we have? A repeat to where he that's, had the family in the front. That same was when Rock's family was on the front row of Raw this past week. And then did before, everybody, before. people get upset about it? Oh, they gave it away because his mother's in the front row. You no, know, they're more upset about him making going out going off script. And no, that was fans. hilarious. I didn't get to see because they cut it out. They didn't put it because I watch it on YouTube. I well, watched first YouTube of all, time. they first cut all of that. All, out. They were on the park. I mean, they on the good camera side. Right, they moved. They moved them to the you know other side. Because Kevin Dunn can't stand people that dress up. They moved them because they went away and come back and said, well, the people are they are gone. They went to And the, then the Rock come side. out and the people were chanting for Macho Man, which one of the guys was dressed as Macho yeah. Man. Rock said, yeah, we're going off script. And went out there and asked them their names and everything. The and real names? Yes. Because I would have said the house. He did. He said, I'm playing the, this guy. I'm playing this guy. <laughs> 
That's and then funny. when he talked about the other playing Hogan, he says, hey, I didn't know drugs were illegal here, but... Uh, <laughs> that's funny. It's funny. And that's what makes Raw great. You, it does. You start script, cause going in there and start telling people what they should wear, what, what they should say. bring. That, that kills it. That's what the right. fans come for. Oh, you want to piss them off? Okay, then they leave. Guess what? You don't make any money. <laughs> yeah, because I know when I went to WrestleMania in Miami, there was people dressed up as the Road Warriors, as the Hart Foundation, as, as Hogan, as Macho. That, I mean, the, it's like the cosplay stuff with the Comic-Con. Yes. There's nothing wrong with it. People let them have fun. They're just upset because the crowd, well, you should make your product more interesting than they wouldn't cheer for people like fans in the stands. Right. But so. uh, I don't know if you saw it on Twitter, but uh, The Rock said he commented on the controversy of talking about the people in the front row. He said... Uh, going to WWE live events, going off script is what I live for, yeah. but it's a nightmare for Vince McMahon. And they ain't gonna piss the rock off. No, because here's the thing, and they I said this, I said this, say listen, crap to him. Listen, I said this to myself uh, yesterday when they were talking about the controversy. Yeah, which is stupid. Here it is. The WWE needs the rock. The rock <laughs> does not need the WWE. So get that through your thick skulls, everybody, that says that he shouldn't have done that. It was wrong. Guess what? It wasn't wrong. Yeah. He did what he thought was was best for business. He yes. thought, hey, the crowd's going to get into it. The crowd's going to enjoy it. And I'm going to enjoy it. So let's go do this. And then he went right back into what he needed to do. Yeah. And they didn't, they didn't skip a beat. They didn't lose any time on air. As far as I know, they didn't go over didn't too much. Seem like it. Who cares? It's like so you know, if y'all think that, that if y'all right. think the Rock needs the WWE, then that's kind of like that gum. You know, I mean, that I'm trying it. to get a good same, comparison hey, here. Same with Austin. Austin don't need the WWE. Thank you. So yeah, so they better watch. Know where the bread's buttered and just get off this crap. Yeah. Hey. Whoa, you piss your fans off. You piss Rock off. You're really gonna be screwed up here. Okay, that's what that's what makes you money. And taking signs away and telling people they have to put shirt, different shirts on and move them and move them out of camera range. That's just stupid. It is. Stupid, I paid for stupid. the seat. This is my seat. I have the ticket. Don't move me somewhere else. Yeah, because I'm dressed like Hogan or dressed like Macho, and I get I'm getting more response from the crowd than your wrestlers. Right. Well, uh, guess what? Somebody needs to do a better job. Either the writers or the wrestlers. There you go. So. Exactly. But that is going to be it for part one. Well, the mini corners corner with a slash Mike Hogan. Then. Yes. <laughs> yes. I had a name for your Oh uh, Hogan's Hangout. That's what Hogan's I Hangout. That sounds I mean it goes good. It does go good, but you had a different name. I don't Hogan it. hanging out anywhere, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's what got him in trouble in the first place. Yeah, he was hanging out. He was hanging out with Bubba and Little Sponsor's wife. But that's it for part one of uh, Ringside News. I'm Mike Hogan. And I'm just a cop. We'll be right back for part two as we start, as we get on the road to WrestleMania. The road do, to the fast lane to we WrestleMania. Do WrestleMania. WrestleMania 2, 3, and 4 in part two. Four of them. Let's come on back right here to Top Road Reality.